I'm so excited to be living on my own, but everything in my apartment right now, it's all my childhood furniture. My bedroom still feels like a kid's room. It's not exactly the greatest start. I've managed to save $7,500, and my landlord said I can make any changes to the apartment, but I just don't know what I want to do yet. It's the first time in my life where I actually need someone's help. <laughs> Here we are. Welcome to my palace. Oh, <laughs> wow. Here is my living room in all its glory. Now I can see why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really, really cringe. Like, nothing matches. It's terrible. Oh. On social media, you look moody, dramatic. This is not quite yeah. giving off those vibes. Yeah, this is definitely not who I am, but it's my first apartment. I just moved out of my parents' house. We are here to fix first apartment problems. My process is pretty simple. I work with what they have and elevate existing pieces. And the changes I make are mostly non-permanent. And I want to make sure to not waste a cent of her well-earned savings. So right here is my childhood bookcase. It used to hold all my nursery books and okay. knickknacks. Got <laughs> it. OK. One of the things I love to do is elevate the everyday. I love the story behind it. So to trash something like this would break my heart. It has to make its way back into the space, but it just won't look like this. Now, I've seen things <laughs> like this. Can you explain, like, where does the butt go in this? <laughs> I mean, is this the vibe? This is, is this... not the vibe. OK. I think we, yeah, we're going like... to have to do better than this. Tell me about this. This is my baby where I write songs, I can create videos. Yeah. I haven't seen a twin bed in I don't know how long. I've had this since yeah. I was a baby. I am loving this. Uh, where is this? So I'm from Jordan. I actually went to Jordan every summer since I was a, a baby. Do you speak Arabic? I can actually read and write and speak Arabic. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I know your rental doesn't really reflect who you are right now. It's pretty basic, but by the time we're done, it is absolutely going to reflect you. I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my God! Beyond perfect. I love this! Yes! Brittany! This is beyond my imagination. So when you moved in, this place was completely blank. We completely transformed the space. All within your budget. We painted everything, this moody mob, and it creates this seamless backdrop for all of these tiny details that we're bringing in. You didn't want a traditional living room, but you still have a place to lounge that's actually comfortable. Oh, yes! My <laughs> you had this desk that wasn't quite working for you. The build team and I came up with this design. We wanted you to have much more space to be creative and truly inspired. This was your childhood bookcase. Oh yes! <laughs> It's yes. an actual bookcase again! It is! <laughs> yes! I love that everything matches. Absolutely. We painted the shelves, your desk, the wall color so it looks built in. Magical. Even though it's the star of the space, it doesn't overwhelm the space. Once again, you've blown me away. <laughs> so this room was basically a kid space. You had a twin-size bed. Queens need a queen. No more plastic storage bins <laughs> in here. We got you a true dressing area over here. So cute! We went with a blush tone on mm -hmm. the walls. The blush color still plays on the mauve tone, but mm -hmm. something a lot more light, sophisticated, yeah. and a restful retreat for you. I love it! And I told you I really wanted to bring your Arabic culture into this space. This mural is your song. I can't stop staring at it. You mentioned loving the sunrises and sunsets. We really wanted to recreate those feelings with your sunsets in Jordan headboard. Yes. I love that it's the centerpiece of the wall. That's exactly. It's perfect. It's about shopping for those unique 
pieces that can add character and reflect you. I live in a two bedroom, two bath duplex in Midtown. From the outside, it looks like one big house, but it's actually divided into two. Memphis is a great city to rent in because the city is pretty affordable for renters and you can rent a really beautiful, unusual house in a great neighborhood. I just don't think you can do that everywhere. I love my house, but my sunroom and my bedroom feel more like a rental and I really want it to feel more like a home. I've saved up about $8,000 and since we're not gonna be tearing down any walls or anything, I'm really hoping it's enough. Oh my gosh, you I cannot <laughs> wait to see what's well, inside. Come on in, I'll show you around. Hey. Okay, here it is. Oh. This is so cute. Yeah, so it's really the entry and the sunroom. Okay. It's just very blank. I'm a single mom. I work all the time and I just ran out of time, really. Got it. I checked you out on social media. I saw how passionate you are about your career. Then you <laughs> love your family and I'm not getting that in here so right. What do you envision for this space? I'm wanting to make it more of a sunroom and more of a live workspace. Okay. Yeah. I love to do makeup here because the light is so good in this room. I bet. But I want it to also be a very comfortable, beautiful living space too. Got it, okay. I get a lot of inspiration from New Orleans. I've worked in New Orleans, worked in Hollywood, and I love that old Hollywood feel that's regal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so beige. It is so beige. This is not you. Exactly, because I'm a mom. You know, I haven't okay. spent the money or the time in really finding what I want, so. Oh my gosh, this art is incredible, though. So that's very sentimental. My grandfather painted all of those. Most of those are portraits of people in our family. And I love this vanity. This was my mom's vanity. Oh. And this is probably where I learned to do makeup. And I've always wanted to redo it because it's in bad shape. Okay, do I have your permission to give it some love. It needs help, yeah, it needs it needs your love. I will take care of this. Uh, I trust you. You wait on that. <laughs> As a renter, the easiest way to customize your space other than painting is with furniture. And all this furniture doesn't have to be expensive. I think this room is definitely going to reflect the Alicia that I see in front of me. I'm a little nervous, but so excited. But I kind of need you to go now so <laughs> we can get started. Okay, I'm out, I'm moving out. I love it! It looks so completely different! Girl! Oh. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen! <gasps> Do you love yes. it? Yes! It's the prettiest room in Memphis! This space we completely transformed. And all within your $8,000 budget. I saw on your social media that you love the French Quarter and that is what I was going for in here. I wanted you to have a glamorous, luxurious makeup lounge. You nailed that. Okay! <laughs> yes. You totally nailed that. This is so great. All of it looks so beautiful. This is crazy. There's not one thing in here that I would change it. This perfection. I just love it so much. This space before was just beige, yeah. subdued, and yeah. lacking personality. And I was inspired by the bungalows of old Hollywood and just very retro and colorful, Definitely. but relaxing and vibrant at the same time. This is a peacock blue grass cloth wallpaper and it's removable, so you can easily change it back. It's gorgeous, really pretty. Now, we sent your mom's vanity out to a professional to be lacquered. Oh, wow. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. My mom's vanity means a lot to me. If she was here, oh. she'd be crying for oh. sure. I mean, it is gorgeous and perfect. I love that. And then I wanted your grandfather's artwork to feel much more intentional 
And so you now have a place to see these and enjoy these. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Look at the pictures up there. I love renting in Memphis because you live anywhere else, you cannot have the amount of square footage that we have. We've got beautiful wide streets, incredible landscaping. We love our apartment. However, we really just like our ugly brown kitchen and our hideous patio. And this is why we do not have friends over Carmion. <laughs> Ever. Oh, it's just really blah. Definitely does not match our personality. What is happening here? <laughs> this is not who I see on social media. Like, you travel, you're colorful, you're fun and like eclectic. And this is not. How did we get here? It's upsetting. I know. Uh, it, it is. We have tried to make our apartment our home, but we have really failed. I thought to myself, wow, these cabinets are hideous. Okay. I'm going to take the doors off. And uh, this. This happens. Oh. So you have to literally turn them to the side to put them in here. Please tell me how we landed on this color. That was me. Okay. I'll own that. Yeah, I tried to go for a beachy vibe and I failed miserably. Okay, with a little Mississippi River thrown exactly. in Exactly. The countertops, what's happening? What is um, this? I have no clue, but I've never understood why people want dark countertops like this. So no dark countertops. I mean, got it. Yeah. Fortunately, I feel like I can definitely work with this. This is something that we have been troubled with since we've moved in. It's real large and clunky, gets in the way. We really don't care for one in the kitchen. Do you guys eat up here? Mm, Rarely. We attempt to. It needs some love, but it's on its way to something <laughs> that there. could be useful. I've never seen anything like this here in Memphis. We're really lucky to have this deck on our property, but we just lack privacy. We don't ever have people out here either because there's a road right here. It's not giving off good vibes. No, not the vibes we want. I'm thinking palms, tall, green, lush. Now that I've seen this space, I want to bring your island out here. You guys need a bar for your mm. outdoor lounge. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> some lounge seating and maybe a dining area. You've got to have some outdoor dining. I know you guys have been in this rental a minute. It's not your vibe at all, but by the time I'm done with this, you guys are never going to want to leave. I think everything sounds amazing. I'm stoked. Can't wait. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying right now. Look at our floor. The plants in here too. I know. You know I can't. <laughs> you outdid Dude. yourself. I, you outdid yourself entirely. I can't this is even. Phenomenal. I, I like. <laughs> are you gonna cry? No. You, uh, no, but maybe this is incredible. This space we completely transformed, all within your eight thousand dollar budget. We had to tone down that hot dog brown color, cleanse the palette, and take the walls white, and giving it that funkiness that I know you guys for with this teal paint color. It's so us. I know you guys put in a great effort going for an open shelving feeling. Not quite executed properly. We gave you true open shelving. No more parallel parking your plates, getting them in and out. So dying. <laughs> the clunky cabinets that were here didn't go far. We repurposed them into a brand new floating coffee credenza. Oh, dang. I love my teal cabinets. We had to get you some new countertops. They are beautiful and they are not gonna be dirty looking all the yes. time. This white quartz bleeds right into your brand new backsplash, which is clean, modern, white subway tile. And the countertop is a remnant I got for about half price. And that island was not cutting it for you. So we yeah. got you a new farmhouse table. Oh. So you have somewhere to eat. Absolutely. As opposed to our old situation, which is just like grab food and run. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. Look at this. We have privacy. We're having a party immediately. We're having the biggest party ever. Yeah. Carmion did the most amazing job of turning our spaces into spaces that were for us. I don't think we're ever really going to leave. Ever. <laughs>